Hello everyone and today I am going to tell you how to solve a, a simultaneous linear equation by the help of Kramorsul and by using Scilab. That means Kramorsul by Scilab. Okay. So for this I have taken three equations that is uh, 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 1 and minus 3x plus y plus 2z is equal to 2 and 7x minus 4y plus z is equal to 1 and here the value of x is dx by d and the value of y is dy by d and the value of z is dz by z dz by d and what is d? d is the determinant of the coefficient matrix see here here is the coefficient matrix a is 2 3 4 minus 3 1 2 7 minus 4 z and the determinant of the mat coefficient matrix a is your capital D and if you replace the result that means 1 to 1 in the first column of the day, uh, d then that means if you replace the first column of d by the result 1 to 1 you will get dx see here your d is the coefficient determinant of the coefficient matrix and the result is 1 to 1 see here the result is 1 to 1 and if the first column of d is replaced by 1 to 1 it will become dx the second column third column of d will remain same in dx and in case of dy the second column will be replaced by b that is the result 1 to 1 and the first and third column should remain same as that of d that means the if a is the coefficient matrix then the first column of the a and the third column of B will be will remain same in dy and in case of dz see here the third column is replaced by the result that is small v and the first column and th second column will remain as that of the coefficient matrix capital A okay so this is all about your commercial and uh, we will solve the simultaneous linear equation by commercial by the help of Scilab. So see here, see here in Scilab, I have written in the sign note to solve by Kramer's rule and first clear, you should write clear then semicolon and uh, I have written the three given equations by double right slash. Okay, now let us start the program. Your capital A is the determinant of the coefficient matrix that means simply capital A is the coefficient matrix that is 2, 3, 4. See, see here the first row is 2, 3, 4 and the first row is the elements are written now uh, in the uh, here and after that I have given a semicolon and if we we'll put a semicolon that means uh, we will move to the second row. Okay, in the second row it is minus 3, 1, 2, minus 3, 1, 2 and then put a semicolon so that you will move to the third row that is 7 minus 4 1 okay and your b is the result that is 1 to 1 the first row only 1 second row only 2 third row is 1 so after 1 I have given semicolon then after 2 I have given semicolon then 1 okay so what is d I have told you already determinant of the coefficient matrix a and what is dx the first column of d will be replaced by b and the second column of dx will remain same as that of a see here i have written the second column okay in that case uh, i have already to given in the previous videos that the if you will want to take the second column only then the first for the row uh, you will put only column okay and uh, we are taking the third column of the matrix a as the third column of dx so for dy the second column of d should be replaced by b and dz the third column uh, is replaced by b okay so what is the value of x display x is equal to dx by d and within single inverted comma you have to write value of x is equal to similar display y is equal to dy by d value of y is equal to this one and uh, it should return within single inverted comma then display z is equal to dz by d then value of z is equal to this one and uh, we have to execute this one see here now see how to execute this one i am clicking this one so that in the console 
you will get the result value of x is equal to this one value of y is equal to this one value of z this one this is the output okay and uh, the output will come in the console okay so this is all about the Cromer's rule and if there will be any doubt any doubt then you can ask me in the comment box okay thank you